646 on your Thursday morning. Time once again to go in your business. Take a closer look at some exciting developments all around our local economy. And this morning, we're joined by uh, Scott Milrath from the Henderson Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for coming in once again. Good, Good to morning, see you. John. Thanks for having me. So there's been a lot happening in downtown Henderson. We've talked before about the rink with the Vegas Golden Knights and the demolition of the, uh, of the old convention center. Let's talk about some of the other things happening on Water Street right now. Yeah, I think that uh, certainly the Knights Arena, the landscape has changed radically. If you drive down Water Street, the old convention center is, has been, uh, is gone. gone. <laughs> uh, the keys have been handed over to the Knights to begin their new construction. And the ripple effect from that investment by the Knights and the city in Water Street will uh, really start paying dividends for the small business community. And speaking of that, there's a new hub opening up, kind of a business incubator on Water Street to try and get some seeds of business off the ground in the downtown area. Yeah, the, uh, the chamber through our foundation runs Cooperate on Water, and it's a shared office space uh, for really uh, businesses that are, are looking to have uh, limited liability as far as a long-term lease. They're just looking for an environment to work outside of the home or outside of an office or work with other entrepreneurs. So. That's, uh, that is underway for us as well. We were talking in the commercial break about this momentum in the downtown Henderson area. Obviously, there's lots of development elsewhere in Henderson as well, but what is it about downtown that you think is encouraging some level of business, if not immediate development, at least interest in homes, uh, other sorts of commerce? Well, I think what, what we have seen is that there's been owner-occupied mom-and-pop businesses that have sort of resurged in downtown Henderson. That's been the ticket to success, is that an owner-occupied business, whether it's a restaurant, architect firm, coffee shop, whether it's Public Works or Juan's Flaming Fajitas, it's been, they've proven they've really, they've really taken off, the market is there, and uh, the city is, uh, the city of Henderson is really supporting and encouraging that investment. Another thing that uh, the Chamber is involved in is something to uh, help local business people get together, the Connect Expo. How important is something like that to try and help these small business owners uh, kind of help each other? Yeah, no, it's, it's what uh, one of the many things the Henderson Chamber does. Uh, we're holding it at the M, and uh, it's networking, uh, networking at its best. We'll have uh, over 100 exhibitors, and we'll be featuring an entrepreneurial business pitch uh, together with the City of Henderson on uh, called Start Tank as well to kick it off. Mm -hmm. Good deal. August 22nd over at the M Resort. Scott, good to see you once again. Once again, getting in your business in Henderson in the Chamber of Commerce.